we see the world in 2D or 3D? So you're thinking, well, 3D. But then you're thinking, well, why is there a 10 minute video on this question if it's that simple? So I could just tell you, but I think I'm going to show you. Let's take a trip to a lower dimensional world and see if we can work things out from there. Line Land is a one dimensional world where only lines exist. There is only left and right. Up, down, back and forth do not exist. The citizens of Lineland are themselves lines as nothing else can exist in a one dimensional world. Now let's take a look at an interaction between two citizens of Lineland. From the perspective of the purple line, the blue line looks like a zero dimensional point. The purple line can only see the front of the blue line, and even if it did somehow have see-through vision, it would just see a series of points. It can't even tell how far away the blue line is as points don't expand or shrink in size. And it would be the same from the blue line's perspective. The blue line would see the purple line as a point. So in a one-dimensional world, the citizens see in zero dimensions, or points. Now let's move up a dimension. Flatland is a two-dimensional world where everything is perfectly flat. There is left and right, back and forth, but no up and down. The citizens of Flatland have no understanding of up and down and are simply not capable of understanding it, as it does not exist in their world. Only two-dimensional objects like circles and squares exist in Flatland. They have width and length, but no height. Now let's take a look at an interaction between some of the citizens of Flatland. From the perspective of the circle, both the square and the triangle look exactly the same, like one-dimensional lines. The circle can only see what is directly in front of her, so she cannot see that one of the objects is a square and one is a triangle, because that would require her to see behind the front of the shapes, or have two-dimensional vision. In fact, to the square and the triangle, the circle also looks like a one-dimensional line, and the only reason they know that they are speaking to her is because they know that she likes to wear purple. So in a two-dimensional world, the citizens see in one dimension. So in a 1D world, they see in 0D. In a 2D world, they see in 1D. Are you starting to see a pattern? It follows that in a 3D world, we see in 2D. Imagine you in our 3D world, and you see a cube in front of you. From your perspective, you are seeing only a two-dimensional square, the face of the cube. You can see the length and width, but not the depth. This could be a rectangular prism, and you wouldn't know. So why is this surprising? I mean, why do we intuitively think that we see in three dimensions? Well, let's try rotating the cube. Ugh, screw it, let's just move into a real 3D space. So this is our three-dimensional cube in our three-dimensional world. And you can see that it is indeed a three-dimensional cube. But if I hold it up like this, you can just see a two-dimensional square. You can see width, length, but no depth. And now if I rotate the cube, you are still seeing a two-dimensional shape. You can see width, length, but no depth. So why do you get the feeling that you can see depth? I mean, you can tell that this edge is closer than this one. If I move the Rubik's Cube forward and backward, you can tell that it's coming closer to you and further away. So if you can't see in 3D, why do you think you can see in 3D? Your brain is pretty incredible. We live in a 3D world, and it makes sense for us to perceive our world as accurately as it is. So this is why your brain has evolved a bunch of tricks to help you perceive this 2D image as 3D. Take this photograph for example. This is a typical day-to-day -day image you've likely seen before. You know it's a 2D image because you're seeing it on a 2D screen, but your brain is using so many techniques just in this one image so that you can map this into a 3D space. And that's just in a still photograph. There are many more tricks involved when you are seeing it in real life or when movement is involved. So what would three-dimensional vision look like? I mean, let's extend this pattern. Let's imagine that there's a four-dimensional world and they can see into our three-dimensional world. What would they see? Well, let's go back to two-dimensional flatland for a sec. The square has gotten tired of socializing and decides to go home. Now the hexagon is walking past for a visit, but he's arrived late. 
and he doesn't know if the square has gone to bed. Because he can't see inside the house, he decides to play it safe and come back tomorrow. So a two-dimensional citizen can't see into another two-dimensional citizen's home because all they are seeing is a wall. Us three-dimensional beings, on the other hand, can easily see that the square is wide awake as from our perspective we can see into his home. So if a four-dimensional creature was looking into our world, he'd be able to see into all of our homes. He'd see every corner of every room, through the roof, through all of the walls. He'd be able to see the first, second, third story all at the same time from every perspective. He'd be able to see into this box without ever having to open it. Uh, there's... Nothing in here. So why can't we see in 3D? I mean, is there some kind of fundamental law? Well, yes. One of the biggies of quantum physics is that all photons are identical. They're all exactly the same. So this means you can't tell where anyone came from. If one came from your mum or one came from the moon. They're all exactly the same. They simply don't carry that information. But what if they did? Take this hypothetical example. You have two glowing objects in front of you, but the one further away is glowing brighter than the one closer to you. This is a situation where your brain's tricks don't work. Your brain can't distinguish the two, it looks as if both objects are the same distance away. This is why we can't tell how far away stars are simply by looking at them. Our eyes can't tell where the photons are coming from. Now imagine we're in an alternate universe where the laws of physics are the same, except that photons carry the information of where they came from. This situation would no longer fool you. You're getting the correct information in the x, y, and z direction. Width, length, and depth. This is no longer just your brain perceiving depth. The information is there, and it's accurate. You're receiving information in all three dimensions, so this could be said to be 3D vision. Of course, the z-axis information is being conveyed differently to the x and y, and this isn't how 4D beings would see in 3D, but you are receiving correct information in all three dimensions without your brain having to process anything. But that's all just speculation. I mean, in this universe, light doesn't behave that way. But what about sound? Some animals like bats use echolocation or ultrasound waves to map their surroundings. Using echoes to locate objects, they measure the time delay between when they emit a sound and when it reaches back to their ears. So they can tell exactly how far away an object is by counting a time delay. Bats and other animals that use echolocation wouldn't be fooled by this test because the information they are receiving isn't dependent on any kind of brain processing. So in this way, bats, whales, and a few other animals can map our 3D world more accurately than we can and be said to have 3D vision. So to sum up, we live in a 3D world, but we see in 2D, but our brain tricks us into thinking that we see in 3D, but some situations can fool our brains, which wouldn't happen if we lived in an alternate universe where the laws of physics were different in that photons knew where they were coming from. I hope that answers the question. That's it guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video or thought it was interesting, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe. I post a video about every second week. If you have a cool idea for a video or you have any questions about this video, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. And add me on Facebook and Instagram. I post like funny things about scientists or sometimes like quotes by scientists or random pretty things. So yeah, I've put all the links below in the description. Um, I've also put the link to the Wikipedia article on depth perception if you wanted to read more about your brain's tricks. Um, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye. How to describe the photoelectric effect. Prove the quantum nature of light. Won Einstein a Nobel Prize. Spawned a whole new field of physics. Revolutionized the way we view the entire physical world. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal.